Hey everyone, Ben Green from Medical. Today we're going to go over seizures. Seizures are uncontrolled bursts of electrical activity in the brain. Seizures fall into two categories, general, which involve the entire brain, and focal, which involves specific parts of the brain. Now, seizures vary from being subtle, such as an absence seizure, which is characterized often by someone staring off into space and not responding to their surroundings, all the way up to a grand mal or tonic clonic seizure, where someone stiffens up or has rhythmic spasms in their muscles and shaking. While the most common cause of seizures is epilepsy, infection, fever, sleep deprivation, low sodium, certain medications, head trauma, toxins, or drugs can also lead to seizures. What do you actually do if someone's seizing? Do not hold them down. Do not put anything in their mouth, especially your fingers. Clear the area around them and gently support the head and let them seize. Then take note of the time the seizure started and the duration of the seizure with associated symptoms. The period following a seizure is referred to as the postictal state. They're likely going to be confused, so you're going to need to help them orient. Once they're oriented, you're going to ask them if they've had seizures before and what a normal seizure was like for them. Then you're going to monitor and document their postictal symptoms as well. You should immediately seek medical help if the seizure lasts more than five minutes or the seizure is longer or more intense than what is normal for that person. They aren't breathing normally or at all. Another seizure immediately follows. The seizure occurs with a fever or heat exhaustion. The person seizing is pregnant or has diabetes. And finally, if they've been injured during the seizure. If you like this video, go ahead and check out our link tree in our bio.